come in. Put your stuff down in the hall. My right? name is Isabel yeah. and I come from Spain, from the north. Well, I have chosen to study English with a um, business supplement. The one-to-one -one method of learning has helped me a lot because you are not only studying English, you are studying English with a person who is focusing only on you, on what you need, on what are your weakness. It's completely different from learning in a classroom with another 30 students. Each day I have about five hours of English with my teacher. We usually start with grammar and then we do a little bit of reading. We're reading uh, Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet right now. Um, then she usually reads something aloud to me and I have to answer questions or write it down. And I think we do quite a bit of everything. My present student is a young 18 year old Spanish girl called Isabel, who is totally and utterly delightful, and I love her. She's doing extremely well. She came with a very good command of English and needs to be polished up. Her ambition is to be able to have English at matriculation standard. So she wants to do a Cambridge proficiency and go to Cambridge Advanced. And I've been teaching that particular exam for the last 35 years. When students arrive, they do have to be assessed. There has to be a reality level. Whatever their ambition, we have to start with what we've got. And all students expect to be assessed. So on the first day, they have a small test to take, which I mark in front of them so they can see where the errors are. And then I point out what sort of errors they are. It could be that they're verb tenses or gerunds or prepositions. But as we go down that where they've got things wrong, I'll say what that mistake is so that they know that the, the list is being compiled of what we're going to do. Well, I plan on coming into business. So I do really need English as a language of communication. But I do also love writing and knowing different languages helps me to write better. I know that what we do with Isabel is happening all over the UK and that you can find it in many other towns, not only the seaside resorts on the south coast but in the north and in very different scenic areas. So they will be seeing either other urban situations or even rural situations. I love my job. I love meeting people. I love uh, helping them to get uh, a mastery and confidence in the language. I, lo I love seeing people progress and I share with them their ambitions, their anxieties, their hopes for the future so that what they want becomes what I want for them. And yes, I'm, I'm very interested and most of my pupils have done extremely well. So I'm rewarded by their success. I guess at the end of all this, I have to say, I really like having students. I like having people in my home. I like sharing uh, what I've got and I like having small entrees into their world. And I have made some wonderful friends. Uh, sometimes on my reports, I've even said, this is another friend for life. Because indeed, many of the students have become my friends for life and I've enjoyed every second of their company. I choose to study English in another country because studying English in Spain doesn't make much sense. You're, the only way of really learning a language is to go to a place where it is spoken as a first language. And I chose one-to-one -one because there's a great difference between studying with other search students with different needs and levels and studying alone with a teacher. You get um, personal attention, you get a more intensive study of English really.